Hey guys, this is a super comfy recipe. The weather's starting to get a little chillier, which I'm actually really excited about. But this is a great recipe for, especially in the colder months. So this is a Mediterranean stir fry. So yummy, check this out. So let's start with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add in some diced zucchini. One thing I love about this recipe is I try to pack it with vegetables. So I'm gonna do zucchini, I'm gonna add some spinach and then some beautiful herbs. I have some mint and basil and the basil is from the farmer's market and it's incredible. So over here, I've shown you guys how I do this before. This is just my diced onion, peeled red pepper, cook it down so like it's a little sweet and translucent. So that I already have cooked. I'm gonna use about half of this and I'm gonna save the rest because I use this in a lot of different things. So I'm gonna get this going. To this, I'm gonna add about a pound and a half of ground beef. So I'm just gonna break this up. I love packing a different kind of meat dishes like this with vegetables. Okay, this is gonna be good. Just wash my hands and I'll be right back. So this is another reason why I love my prep on kitchen spatula too, because this edge, it's really great for chopping up ground beef. It's like the perfect job to break it up. So we're gonna get all this cooking down. Then we're gonna add our garlic. I'm gonna add the garlic a little bit later because I don't want it to burn, but I do want it to cook. So dice it really small and you can add it a little bit later. So as the meat starts to cook, it'll get easier to break up too. You don't really wanna overwork it too much. So I'm gonna let this kind of chill for a second. I'm gonna add some dried oregano, about a teaspoon. Again, we're getting all those really great Mediterranean flavors. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of garlic salt. Ground beef can take a lot of salt. So I tend to do some garlic salt and regular salt. It's about a teaspoon. Okay, great. To this, I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of tomato puree. Just very simple, not marinara sauce, just tomato puree. We're gonna start cooking all this down. I love these flavors. They're so, so good. I'm just gonna let this cook for a second since I don't want it to get mealy. So now we're gonna add, oh, mint. I love mint. Mint in a meat dish, <laughs> I just love it. Basil. The other thing I'm gonna add, minced spinach. This is a very iron heavy dish, which I love. And olives, minced pitted Kalamata olives. Oh, so good. So once I get this all cooking together, then I'll add my garlic. Look at how beautiful it looks, you guys. I love adding vegetables and fresh herbs to a meat dish. It just brightens it and just adds this beautiful, healthy, fresh aspect. Oh, I love it. This is looking really good. So let's add our garlic and a little bit of regular salt too. I find that meat can handle a lot of garlic too. Fresh cracked black pepper, always fresh cracked if possible. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. This is, look at how beautiful this looks. Sorry to my veggie friends out there, but you can appreciate the veggie in it. I hope. Wow, that's gonna be so good. So if I was just cooking for myself and my husband, I would add hot sauce, <laughs> a little bit of chili powder, but I'm not going to, because my kids are gonna be eating this too. I also love a stir fry with vegetables in it, because it tends to, they tend to not have as much of a problem eating those vegetables. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. I love having a ground beef dish with all these beautiful, vibrant colors. It's so pretty. So you guys, you want to cook it until like the pink is just gone. Because remember, it's going to continue to cook. So this is basically ready. 
If you guys want to get super lean and get some of the fat out, pour this through a strainer and let the fat come out. The other thing what I'll do is a lot of times when I'm doing taco meat and different ground beef things, I'll put it through a strainer, but catch the sauce underneath. And then I'll just add back like a couple tablespoons. But if you guys don't, if you want to get rid of some of that fat, you can strain it out. But just know your meat will be a little drier. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. You guys, that was so quick. Gorgeous. Let me put it into like a pretty plate so you can see what it looks like. You guys, so beautiful, so quick, so nutritious. So top it with a little bit of feta cheese. Oh my gosh, you guys, whoa. Fresh herbs. Ooh, beautiful meal is ready. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I cooked. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications so you know when I put up another video. Oh my gosh, I'm going to eat. <laughs> See you soon.